What's happening, Internet? Sean here, Mahalo.com, and we've been using the process of elimination to find out why our computers running so slow. And in this step, we'll be finding out whether or not we have a hardware issue or a software issue. So by the end of this video, you'll find out whether or not you'll be going to the left tree to find out your software problems or the right to find out your hardware problems. So let's get going. All we're going to do in this lesson is we're going to figure out if you have correct amount of hardware to power the software you're currently using or would like to use. Pretty simple, really easy. I'll just take you through the steps, and at the end of this video, you'll know whether or not you have the oats to run the software you want to use. So, just for instance, Windows 7 requires a gigahertz processor, gigabyte of RAM, 16 gigs of hard drive space, DirectX 9. Now, these are the requirements. So that just simply means you can install and use the operating system with these requirements. It doesn't say anything about running gloriously or running real smoothly, so you'll want to be above these requirements. And inside of Vista, we have pretty similar requirements with gigahertz processor, gigabyte of RAM, 40 gig hard drive, 15 gigs free. And I'm pulling all this information up on Microsoft.com, so if you wanted to pull it up for yourself. If we see here at the bottom, we have the minimum requirements and also the recommended requirements. Just make note of those two. Now over here we have Windows XP. These are all pretty standard, although now once you get more into some of the hardware heavy software, like video games for instance, and drafting programs and editing programs, those require a lot more out of your system. So let's say, for instance, we wanted to play a video game like StarCraft II. StarCraft II has some pretty high system requirements in comparison to like an operating system. So for instance, we have our minimum system requirements and our recommended system requirement. You'll be able to play the game with the minimum requirements, although it might not run as great or as smooth or look as well as if you had the recommended requirements. To find out if you have the requirements, you can just simply click on the Start menu, right-click Computer, and go to Properties. And that's when this guy will show up. From here, we can simply see what operating system we have, the make, model, our processor speed, how much RAM we have installed, and if it's a 32-bit or 64-bit processor and operating system. One thing to take note here is that works just fine for checking out my system requirements for my operating system because all the information is here and then here, but it doesn't really show me my hard drive. So to see your hard drive, just simply click on the start menu, then click on computer, and there you'll be your hard drive. And it looks like I have more than enough free space for an operating system or a game. Now, one other item that we don't have up here is our video card because StarCraft II would like to know exactly what video card we have to play their game. To access our video card information, all we have to do is click on the Start menu, then type in Run, and we'll just click on Run here at the top. From here, we'll type in DXDIAG, which stands for DirectX Diagnostic Tool. Inside this tool, I can see more about my operating system. Like for instance, if I click on Display 1, I can see I have 733 megabytes on my video card. So over here for StarCraft 2 we have 128 needed, so we're covered there. So if I wanted to run StarCraft 2, I have a high enough system to run it. Now, one other thing to take note as well is these requirements and recommendations are simply for that being the only application I have open within this operating system. So if you wanted to run StarCraft 2 with Microsoft Office and your video editing program, then it wouldn't really run in a smooth manner based off of these recommendations. So take that in mind. All these system requirements are for using just that program. So now with inside of this video, we found out whether or not we have the hardware to run the software that we'd like to use or the software that we're running. So we now have that information so we can decide if your hardware does not match then you click one option at the end of this video, and if it does match, you'll click another option. Now if we do have the hardware, we'll be going through the next step to figure out what's going on inside of our software to make our computer run slow. And inside of the hardware, I'll be going through troubleshooting your hardware and also upgrade options. So let's go to the next step, figure out your answer, and get your PC up and running as fast as it should be.